Hello, I'm Atsubo George and I'm here with my lovely wife. Gloria George. And we are so glad to be bringing God's word to you today. Now, it's been an exciting time. And once again, I want to say thank you for all the calls and the messages you've been sending. They are encouraging, you know, yeah. telling us how this has been a blessing Bless. to you. Mm -hmm. Now, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Praise God. And, and we pray that the things we share. Now, we're not sharing this thing just because we want to tell stories. Mm -hmm. We're sharing these things because we want to impact your life. We want to show you how it is when you first receive the word of God, which is very important. Mm -hmm. Remember, Jesus, and God said it in, in, in Deuteronomy. Um, he said, man shall not live by, by bread, bread alone, alone, but by every, every word. word. Now, take note of that word, every word mm -hmm. that proceeds out, out of, of the mouth, mouth of God. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before going to the preaching. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm already taking off. Bread. Praise know, God. Right? Can we call for that daily bread? Amen. Join us even as we make this demand. I'll open your mouth and say these words. Mm -hmm. Don't just say, okay, I'm praying, amen. Don't just wait until we're done and say, amen. No, you say it because yeah. you have angels that are standing around you now. Yes. And when you make those declarations, they go to work. Yeah. This is how it works. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. So join us right now in faith. Say, Father, Father, I receive right I now. I receive right now my daily bread. My daily bread. It is coming to me now. It is coming to me now. In Jesus, In Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Expect a miracle today. Jesus himself commanded us to pray like this. Yes. He says, now, you know what we call the Lord's Prayer? He says, give us this day our, our daily bread. Daily bread. Yeah. Now, that's very instructive. Doesn't God know we need daily bread? It's not about God. Like I just told you, there are angels standing around. Yes, and there yeah. is nothing on your forehead that shows mm -hmm. you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. Angels know us by our, our words. words. So you want to be a child of God and be speaking out like a devil? Angels will just be counseling you and say, ah, this one, no. Uh, uh, my suspicion is wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But then if you begin to speak as the child of, of God, God, and that's what God says, we shall live by every word that, that proceeds, proceeds from the mouth of God. God. So now that's why we're sharing what we're sharing with mm -hmm. you. We are sharing it because we want to show you how we receive the, the word, word of, of God, God that proceeded from his mouth to, to our us. Mouth. Yeah. Now, not because we are over special. I know we are special. Praise yeah. God. Yeah, we're special in God's sight. Mm -hmm. You also are special in yeah. God's sight. Yeah. So don't form that humility. It's not, not, there's nothing special about There is something special, special about, about you. Come think about children. it. Hallelujah. Jesus had, you know, I love that. I love that illustration. God had us. Okay. And he had Jesus. And then he said, look, I'm willing to sacrifice Jesus for us. So I always ask this question, who does God love more? <laughs> Praise God. He, he was willing. Now, you know, people don't understand this. Jesus was the word of God made flesh. Yeah. And then God put his life on the line because of us. Yeah. There could have been a mistake. Jesus could have given up. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Don't, don't think Jesus was just like a robot. He, he, he willingly chose yeah. to do the yeah. ma he even, had a when, meal. even when it was so painful mm -hmm. at the Garden of Gethsemane, he looked at this pain and then he says, if it is possible. Take this. That was, that was almost his breaking point. Yeah. But he still said, you know what? I'll go through with this. Yeah. And then he died trusting God to raise him. Mm -hmm. Now, if anything had gone wrong, he wouldn't have been raised up. Mm -hmm. But God raised him up. Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. And he was raised up. And oh, dear Lord, he was raised up and became our high priest. priest. Now, do you know what that means? 
God had said we must live by every word that, that comes out of his mouth. mouth. And Jesus today is the high priest sitting in that spiritual yeah. temple. Yeah. Yeah. And what is he receiving as sacrifices every day? Our words. Our words. Yeah. So now when we speak, that's what we have been giving the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now the Holy Spirit tells us what to say. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit gives us what to think. Mm -hmm. Now, when we think right and speak, speak right, right, our high priest. So when Jesus said, ask the Father for, for your, your daily, daily bread. bread. Mm -hmm. He is sitting in that temple mm -hmm. to offer that sacrifice, sacrifice of our words. words. So when we now say it every day, Father, I make demand for my daily bread. Mm -hmm. Our high priest is there and he's a faithful high priest. Yeah. He's there and he says, that's it. Any angel around us that doesn't carry out the instruction, mm -hmm. they get into trouble. In trouble. That's why we can never be broke. Mm -mm. Now, this is the understanding we have. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, you will receive the word of God. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. No matter what we do. This is our life, praise yeah. God. So, so just get blessed and, and blessed and blessed. Praise and receive God. the word. And receive, yeah. And put it to work. Everything we're doing so is So that you can work. have your testimony That's as it. Well. Praise yeah. God. All Hallelujah. right, so so we, we, we were telling you the story about the first major challenge we had, had after, you know, after marriage. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think I like telling the story. <laughs> Go ahead. You're going to tell your parts, but... But now, why I like telling the story because of what, how I was processing things, mm -hmm. you know, nobody can tell what's going through my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one that can tell you. And when I say it, I'm not telling a lie. I'm telling you the truth before God, praise God. And, so, yeah. so we lost that first pregnancy. Yeah. And the doctors had told us that it's because of the fibroid. Mm. And then they told us the same thing again that the, the, the other guy had said. Report, yeah. That this fibro, the position of this fibro, will not allow pregnancy conception. If or there is, time, if you can, yeah, if yeah. there is, that it, the baby is going to abort. Abort. Now we 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 just experienced an abortion. The first, the first abortion. Now, like I said uh, on Friday, we had prayed about it, mm -hmm. and God had given us an assurance that mm -hmm. it will not be an issue. Yeah. But now it's becoming an issue. Yeah. You know what I mean by yeah. that? Now, when God tells you nothing is, you, everything is okay, and then you now hit one rock. What do you do? What do you do? So I went before the Lord. I said, Lord, what's going on? I spoke to you about this. I wasn't, you know, sometimes things happen to people and then they are disappointed with God. Mm, they whine, get angry. they get angry. Yeah. I wasn't angry. Mm. We're not angry. Mm. See, because you just well, wanted I mean, to know. Yes, I mean, why are you angry? Yes. <laughs> because he's still the one that will bring solutions. Exactly. You. Exactly. You, know, you know, that's one thing I learned early in life never to waste time. Mm -mm. Never to waste time. You remember we, we talked about this many years ago that look, let's let's deliberately take this decision yeah. as a couple when we got married. Mm. If there is any disagreement between mm. us, mm. we will never let that stop anything that we, we are, are supposed, supposed to, to do, do that day. <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> We've had to manifest that. Yes, that decision no, in yes, several yes, ways. No, yes. I mean if if <laughs> this is funny, but you see it's important you take certain young decisions, couples yes. take certain decisions mm -hmm. that will help you in yeah life. So, commitments yes yes because you'll mm -hmm. be committed to those decisions yes. and don't just say i've made up my mind no 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 mm -hmm. we discuss it. it and agree concerning yes. it so, so, so imagine if we had agreed to go out for maybe we'll go out for dinner at seven o'clock and, and, then, and then there's now a disagreement so you will fight or oh, we do <laughs> i don't mean fight <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so we had a dis disagreement at 5 p.m and you're like oh, oh. like <laughs> in that whole even if we don't sort out the issues by we seven o'clock we are getting we said move. i will go <laughs> carry everything you're carrying in your hand let's go because you know, we're not going to miss today Sometimes we're not going to miss tough. we're not going well, to miss what we are supposed to do exactly. that day exactly. we're not going to postpone it for one mm -mm. see mm -mm. now that's how you live your life on time yeah 
not wasting without time. emotions don't yes. let emotions stop you yes. but of course you know the truth we'll go for that dinner wherever we are of course we eventually said in the process in the process because <laughs> they see now this is what destroys people i'm not going again i'm not going again mm -hmm. now it becomes an issue you will settle the next day and then yeah, three days that. down the line he said that's how you promised me you will take mm -hmm. it you now raise the quarrel yeah. because you didn't want to now, do you understand the what I'm enemy saying? is just waiting so we won't let him don't give him room that's why the bible says you should give no room to no place devil. to the devil no, at all mm -mm. so can now we 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 couldn't get angry <laughs> with god because we need to move forward mm -hmm. we needed to move forward mm -hmm. immediately we needed to move on mm -hmm. Oh, because Despite he lost because he lost the child, mm -hmm. you know, and all the drama that took place. He now start doing. Mm, mm. Everybody now comes and start petting you. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. You know, you I know. even wanted to blame myself because um, the stories that we hear about when you when you're pregnant, there are certain things you shouldn't do. Like I said, I didn't even know this was going to happen. Yeah, not like you plan for something bad to happen, but then something happens. And there's this word God gave me too. And it was very early in the pregnancy. Yes, it was it's very early. Like it was, it was about like six weeks. it was six to eight oh, weeks. Eight it weeks, was yeah. eight weeks. Very yes, early. So, yes. It was on the eighth of May. I can't forget yeah. that I bled, you know, in school. And then I was going to all the negative thoughts were coming to my mind. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this aerobics. But I was like, no, <laughs> I didn't have any restriction mm -hmm. in my spirit when I was going to do that because if i did i would have taken permission and then i had other people that could have stood in for yeah, me exactly. sometimes the children themselves i even give them tasks they do and i watch but that particular day i had no restriction so when all those condemning thoughts were coming to my spirit it actually weighed me down you know like is there something i would have done to prevent this thing from yeah, happening yeah. then i remember calling my mother-in-law god bless her i called her and i spoke to her about it you know how the drama of we've had dramas of mother-in-laws yeah. this is a mother that has just one child she's looking forward to carrying her grandchildren yeah, children, yeah. she would have been dramatic with me but she told me something that strengthened my faith she told me she said see even if you wanted to do all the aerobics in the world if that child was supposed to stay there that child would have stayed there. Sure. So why are you crying? Stand up. Wake up. We are going to have a baby. Mm. She started encouraging me and speaking words <laughs> to me. And I was like, what? <laughs> God, you love me so much. You have given me a mom. Yeah. Not just a mother-in-law. She encouraged me. She strengthened me. Coming from my mom, that would have been okay. This is my mom. Yeah. But when I was telling her, I was like, even though I know she loves me, I was also waiting to be scolded. Like, if she if she had said, you knew you were pregnant, you're supposed to be more knowledgeable. Why did you go to do sports or whatever? Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. would have been justifiable. Yeah. I would have yeah. like, mommy, I'm sorry. I didn't know. But she didn't. No condemnation. I think also as believers, we should be very careful really? with our words when people are going yeah. through. Yeah, true yeah so, because you see it has happened except you have the power mm -hmm. to change that thing yeah be careful with the, with words. the words yeah because you can just think demoralize of, think the of person how completely. to move them forward, forward from that point. from that point yeah don't start blaming now i understand sometimes you have to review what yeah. went wrong yeah. you know, yeah. so that next time it will yeah. not repeat itself again yeah. but be sensitive mm. when you do the that pain. be sensitive when you do that yeah. now not when somebody say oh look this i've lost this i've lost this and then you go, eh. how could so you? how could you mm. how could you mm. now that's not what mm. is going to help the person mm. at that moment especially someone that is even careful yes so you say look you know what can we move forward exactly now, that's what we did and that yeah that's what yeah. we did so I went before the Lord. I said, Lord, now this is me and you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like I said before, I saw it before it happened. So it didn't take, it's not, the, it's not, you know, now that's the funny part. I think that's one of the things that even helped us. Mm -hmm. The fact that the Lord showed me this thing mm -hmm. before it happened, mm -hmm. meaning he was aware. 
exactly what I was going to say <laughs> as well. He was aware. He was aware, no matter now, the challenge. Now, the fact that he was aware, mm. and another thing, you know, I checked in my heart, this, was there anything the Lord told me to do mm. that I did not do? Yeah. You know, like I said, all I heard the Lord say there was, tell your wife to take things easy. easy. Now, that's all I heard. And I did it. I told mm. her. Mm. I didn't change the words that I heard. I didn't go say, look, um, sit down. Don't. I said, look, take things easy. And I didn't even process it to pregnancy. Because what, what I, <laughs> now, now that's the truth. Oh, God. So, in, in, the, in, the, in the real sense of it, I stand before God guiltless. Justified, yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? So, now, but then, of course God spoke. And sometimes you don't understand. Now, we, we have grown to understand certain things about now, God. Yeah. That sometimes God will speak to you. You have to process his words mm -hmm. with maturity mm -hmm. and the knowledge of him that you have. Mm -hmm. So now watch this. We, I went before the Lord and I began to ask him, okay, Lord, what do we do now? Because mm -hmm. now it seems what the doctor said is becoming an pass. issue oh god even though we have another report from mm -hmm. the lord mm -hmm. but it seems the report of the doctor is prevailing mm. over the word what of the god word that we have said. received yeah. so i went before the lord not oh i bind i cast you know, start looking at every village demon and no <laughs> no i said lord what do we do now what? That was all the prayer I had in my heart. And then I, I kept waiting for the Lord. And then the Lord spoke to me and said, Son, you have not asked me for a child yet. We just lost a child. And God is saying, you have not asked me for a child. Lord, what do you mean by that? How? I don't understand. We've not asked you for a child. What does that mean? Now, it was new to us because when you get married, it, you just, it just, it's I just mean, normal. Yeah, everything is normal. Yeah. yeah. You know, so... I said, oh, what do you mean by that? And that's when the Lord began to teach me. See, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. All things do work together. That's when the you Lord began more. to teach me the yeah. real truth about what we call the book of life. Mm. That's when the Lord taught me really. You know, you read those scriptures, but you don't, you don't understand until, yeah, until the Spirit of God takes you. Mm. You know, through it. He said, then the Lord said to me, he said, children are the heritage of the lord right mm. i said yes mm. what do you understand by the word heritage ah and then he said i give children that's when the lord said taught me he said the book of right life have been written before the world began yeah. right yeah. i said yes mm. and then he said when do you think the book is going to be open i could excuse me sorry according to scriptures mm -hmm. when is the book going to be open mm -hmm. the book of revelation told us at the end of everything mm -hmm. and then the lord said to me he said listen what that means is every name written in the book of life must be born into this world before the last name yeah. written in the book of life mm -hmm. will be born into this world mm -hmm. before, before that, that book happens. is going to be open yeah because the bible said the books will be open and anyone whose name is not found written in the book of life mm. will be cast into the book of life yeah. and then the bible also told us that i think in, in revelation chapter 17 and verse 13 or so mm. that the book of life was written before the foundation of the, of world. the world i said wow nobody taught me this mm. i've not heard anybody preach this mm. and i said lord what do we do and the lord said Ask me to, to give, give you children, children whose names are written in, in the, the book, book of life. life. Hallelujah. Whoa. <laughs> I said, I've gotten it now. <laughs> Praise God. Ah, now, 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 we've had a medical issue take place. And here I come with joy in my heart. I've gotten the answer. Whoa. We, you know. Oh God, I, you're too funny. It's so easy. Now, why am I sharing these details with you? Because now God has spoken to us. Hey, you take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of the knowledge that God brought to us. He mm -hmm. didn't bring it just for us. Mm -hmm. he, br he brought it for every one of his child mm -hmm. to understand. Praise mm -hmm. God. So now, don't go, oh, wait, see what pastor said. He now mm -hmm. pray. No, you go to the study also. Check the scriptures. 
and and process what I just said. If you're having issues, you're married and you're having issues childbirth. of childbearing, this is your solution. Mm. It doesn't matter what the doctors have said. This is your solution. It doesn't matter how old you are. This is your solution. Do you want children? That's mm. the question. Mm -hmm. So I came to you and I shared the things that I received from the Lord. Mm. I said, this is what the Lord told me. I said, whoa. Mm. Okay, so let's pray. Mm. You don't wait until... No, 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 let's pray. Now, so we held our hands together and, and we, we prayed, prayed and said, Father, we've gotten married mm. and we repent for not knowing and understanding your word. And so we didn't do it right the first time. Mm. So we repent of it. We repented before the Lord. We repent of it. And now, Lord, we ask you in faith to give us children whose, whose names, names are written in the book of life. And that was it. Mm. So we prayed that prayer. We knew we were at peace with ourselves. Mm -hmm. We relaxed. We were not thinking, oh, what do we do now? Should we go see a doctor again? No, 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 no. We, we didn't think that. And then a few months later, yeah, I would <laughs> never forget that day. <laughs> see, listen, you know, people don't know Can God. I <laughs> Can I talk about my my process a little bit okay. before you we go to a few months later yeah. because i know exactly <laughs> what, i know exactly what to talk about <laughs> you know for, for the woman for me after that time you know they told me at the hospital i think after like a month yeah. you you should be ready like a month or two or so mm -hmm. your womb should yeah. be ready to take in again yeah. or something like that and then every month when I would see my period, I would start crying. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to. Yeah, yeah. I would start sulking. You forget a lot of things. <laughs> I'm like, God, when? God, that, why? That was not an issue to me. <laughs> yes, that's his perspective. Not like it was an issue, but you know how that you it's, it's your body. Yeah, you expect Your expectant yeah. and all of that. And then people are looking at you. In quotes, women, you totally understand what I'm talking about. I had an experience one time that someone just looked at me and was like, not yet. And it was quite, you know, it was, sometimes they don't mean bad, but then nobody knows what you are going through. Do you understand? Because mm -hmm. I wouldn't say, I, I can't uh, conclude to say that she meant something that was bad. Mm -hmm. But for me, at that time because i was going through you know, this process let me let me say a word mm. on, on that because this is something the lord spoke to me about also okay sometimes you see how we receive things it's very, very important. important you know sometimes people get upset and and walked well, up yeah when someone say ah you don't have a child yet yes. or now it doesn't matter how they mean it mm. now here's what the lord told me he said mm. Don't, it says, tell my children not to get upset with mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, the moment you got married, it's like you've planted a tree. Mm, yeah. And the truth is, from the day you got married, nine months later, one should begin to look out for the harvest mm -hmm. of, the, of, mm -hmm. the, of mm -hmm. that tree that you planted, planted. For the fruit of that tree. That mm -hmm. it's, not, it's natural. It's supposed to be natural. If you, yeah. if you plant the corn seed, and everybody saw you plant the corn seed, I mean, after a few months, one expects that is it not yet time for mm -hmm. your harvest? Mm -hmm. you, you, now, mm -hmm. when people are asking, ah, have your corn, uh, have you harvested your corn yet? Mm -hmm. uh, why are you <laughs> asking me? What is wrong with you? <laughs> eh? <laughs> so, the Lord said, no, no, no. Don't get upset mm -hmm. with things like that. Because sometimes people make that decision. Oh, we don't want children that's yeah. just what i was going to add like you know we don't want children yeah. so yeah. When, when people expect you need to explain to them that yes we we got the seed but we didn't plant it <laughs> i was going to ask that you said that they see you planting this and i'm like did they see you planting this seed did they know when to plant yeah this? you know so we got the seed but we didn't plant don't get angry with all those things please God. listen yeah. get into maturity yeah you know no child is, oh no sure i mean uh, we're, we're ready, we're and ready, actually we're test and challenges and trials will come to test your faith and, our time and then is up today. oh my god okay <laughs> tomorrow then <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, don't miss, don't, don't miss tomorrow. No, we're taking this thing bit by bit so that we'll share every detail and teach everything that you can get from it. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.